You know what? A little air pocket for the coochie never hurt anyone. Hello! If you follow me on my Instagram or Twitter where I sometimes post pictures of my outfits, uh, I usually get a lot of comments asking me where I got those outfits from to give like tips on fashion. I know literally nothing about fashion. The way I find clothes is basically look at shirt, shirt good or shirt bad. Shirt bad, don't buy. Shirt good, buy. And then just throw it all together and hope something works. But since some of you seem genuinely interested, I will be giving you a few outfit ideas that are suitable for school, mostly. And don't, before any of you freakers, come into my comments being like, <laughs> Imagine not having to wear school uniform. Me having to wear a school uniform watching this. I've been there. I had to wear a school uniform that looked like an off-brand remake of that one anime. Do not cite dark magic to me, which I was there when it was written. But now that I'm finally in college and there's literally no dress code, just don't be naked I guess is one of them, I've been able to explore my fashion sense a little bit more. I might get clowned on for some fits in this video. But there are no rules to fashion. Actually, there are some rules to fashion, but you won't get in trouble if you break them, so who cares? I'll be showing you about 8 outfit ideas that are both uh, either feminine, masculine, or androgynous, I guess you can say. So you can hopefully get some ideas. With that being said, let us go. Okay, so for the first outfit, we're gonna do something a bit formal. You know, something you could wear to a presentation in college. This is one of the outfits that look better in my head. Hello, future Feline here to tell you that I did change this outfit a bit and that clip will play after this one. I am not confident in styling, guys. You have no idea how stressed I am over this. I have 20 new grey hairs. Basically, I have this like brown plaid kind of skirt with like some buttons here. It's kind of like a pencil skirt, is it? I don't know. Then I wanted to pair it with like a turtleneck inside. I was inspired by this kind of outfit I found on Pinterest. But what's great is that this blazer is actually a size bigger than my size. So it's always been like a little bit too big for me. But on this kind of outfit, it looks like that was intentional. Always make your mistakes look intentional so that you are never wrong. Let me know what you think, because I don't really know how to feel about this. I changed my mind. I changed my mind. It is literally like 12 a.m. right now. I couldn't sleep at night looking at that clip and how that skirt worked. If you like that, go ahead and wear it. But it just didn't really fit right with me. So I changed my mind. Look. Here, see? Latex pants. All leather pants. I don't know what this material is. But look. See this? You see this? Uh-huh. And if I just deflate my titties real quick, poof, gone. And suddenly you look like a rich sugar daddy in Korea. Yeah, that, that's it. I just, I just could not live with myself looking at that skirt when this exists. If you, did, if you pose like this, it would look decent. Questionable, but okay. Here is fit number two. It is something a bit more masculine if that's your style. So my favorite thing is a white collared t-shirt because you can pair anything with a white collared shirt and it will look good, especially if it's short sleeve. I forgot what this vest is called, I'll put it over here. I got it online. It's one of these like kind of industrial looking ones with like seat belts. You have pockets here and also these pants. I got these all online by the way because I can't find any clothes in Malaysia. So for these pants, uh, I bought them from like a men's section and I need to tell you, the biggest difference I've ever seen in clothing is the depth of a man's pants pocket. Look at how deep this thing is! Like, that's my entire arm! Like, when the first time I put my phone in and it did not poke out at all, that was a mythical moment. I've bought so many men's pants since then. Please try it out. The only part that's a downfall is like this crotch part is a bit flabby if you wear it like down here. But you know what? A little air pocket for the coochie never hurt anyone. Oh, so I forgot to add this and it would be criminal not to mention, but there's like a little hook here that I can attach anything to. And that is a lot of power to give to someone like me. Therefore, I will be attaching something that radiates alpha male testosterone energy to it. 
my son Pom Pom Pure. He's so cute. Look at him. No, really, look at him. I have a son. Yes. Single father of one. Okay, outfit number three. So, th hello, this is another disclaimer that I absolutely hated this outfit after re-watching this two times. And so I decided to do another version of it that's after this clip. This is probably what someone thinks of when you say the word schoolgirl. Like a plate skirt, white shirt, maybe like a little vest on it. Uh, I introduce you a plot twist. Okay, not that big of a plot twist, but behold. So I have this like kind of tech where Looking, I'm just using words I don't know the meaning of. I'm so sorry. You can see there's little buttons here. There's a lot of neat little designs scattered around, and it just overall gives like a really techy, cool kind of look to it. And so by pairing it with something that is very feminine and soft, you create contrast. I don't know what the hell I'm saying. Yeah, I changed my mind. Okay, look. I think this match is a lot better with a black skirt, especially with the black tie and the fact that the inside of this is black. I just really wanted to use pink somewhere, I'm sorry. Yeah, this is a pretty normal kind of fit, I'd say. The skirt has pockets. They're fake pockets, all oh, fucking core. Cool. So this is from 97? Yes, this is a lot better. Okay, I'm so glad my friend told me that they were clashing. Yeah, the pink was cute. Uh, I thought that pink and yellow were complementary colours, but no, it's fucking green. And here's how it looks like from the back. So if none of those previous outfits got you dress coded, this will sure be the deal breaker of them all. Is this say yes to the dress or say yes to the slut? Is this say yes to the slut? Yeah, I, yeah, I have no idea why this would be dress coded as you can see. My arms, my neck, and my stomach are all covered with skin. Okay, obviously, you, in most schools, you can't just wear this in unless your school doesn't have any dress codes, which thankfully mine doesn't. But if we're gonna make this more PG-17, 13, what? Boom! Cat sweater. So this is a really monochrome look, black and white. I got already got to show you guys this jacket for a second, so it's cat theme. You know, look at the cats. And the pockets have cat ears. So the whole idea of this fit was, you know that meme going around on Twitter that's like, are you a big top small bottom or a small top big bottom kind of gay? And this is an example of a small top big bottom. Yeah, please don't Google small top big bottom gay. Um, I may have misremembered the words. These are baggy kind of pants, and this is a really tight-fitting top. It also helps that this jacket is like very sports jersey kind of themed, so I think it would go well. This is something that I usually see like the more popular girls in my school wearing. So it's fun to try that on for a change. Guaranteed school teacher heart attack. Now the next outfit is a bit more simple, it's just like shirt and some pants. So basically, I'm wearing this pale yellow shirt with like a zipper here, and when I zip it up, it becomes a turtleneck. This is technology at its finest. And then I'm also wearing these brown jeans that I got online. I forgot my slippers, the dogs are out, the grippers are free. I don't know, it's kind of giving like cool dad, cool like disco dad vibes, you know? If these were like flared at the end, it would be really snazzy. So the top is from Padini Authentics, the bottom is from Shopee Online. If I can find the link, I'll add it to the description. I remember there was one person that would always ask me where my pants were from when I wore this specific pants. And it didn't occur to me, they were asking me what brand it was. So I just told them it was from a pants store. Because obviously, and then everyone started calling me gatekeeping, which you know, it's kind of a fair response. So this is just something really casual if like a lot of layers isn't your thing. And I think that this color scheme just matches well overall. Very earthy tones. Very uh, hashtag Taurus if you ask me. I only remember that because it's my zodiac sign. Day to school. Oh, I'm not done with small top big bottom gay yet. Also, I just realized how wrong that sounds. Why do we need these things? Get in there! So once again, being the whore for contrast I am, I will introduce to you the seatbelt pants, the cool little seatbelt pants, and the cute little shirt with a comet on it. 
And then, well, this is nice and all. This is just something basic. Uh, what I find that looks really good is tying this cat jacket around it. So what I really recommend is getting a jacket with like patterns on the sleeves that will show up when you tie it in front, like this. And yeah. I think it just adds like another layer to the outfit as a whole. Would you approach me in the hallway? Say yes. Once again, the jacket and pants are from Shopee Online. And this is from Monkey. Seatbelt safety. And so this is outfit number six, seven. Uh, I was not keeping count. Again, something a bit more basic. A really baggy sweater that I found on Shopee once again. Pants from Shopee. I think I might have an addiction to online shopping. I don't mean to keep interrupting, but I just don't think the color of those pants fit that shirt really well. But at this point, I think I'm just extremely insecure. Also, just a reminder, outfits are simply fabric, and fabrics aren't just allowed to be worn by one specific gender or else you will melt and combust into tiny little flames. Wear whatever you want that makes you happy. I think outfits are a great way to express yourself, your femininity, masculinity, androgyny. Just go and experiment with whatever you want and see whatever fits you. I find it really sad if people want to like explore other areas of fashion but they feel boxed in to like their gender norms just have fun with yourself at the end of the day if it's safe for you to do so they're just clothes Not for hot climates. okay final outfit you remember the uh, school girl anime kind of outfit I had before? Well, this I think would be the masculine more version of it. Basically, what I have on me is this blue uh, jersey jacket that I got on Shopee, a brown tie, and I really like this tie, by the way. It's just like this nice shade of like hazel that goes really well with making any outfit look softer. And then we have the white collared t-shirt again. And this time, we're actually wearing these Latex pants. I'm just kidding, latex is expensive. I think this is probably plastic. Yo, yo, these pants. <clears throat> so I got like this inspiration from like this outfit here I found on Pinterest. And really, it would go so well with a brown jacket, but I didn't have that. So I just used this one instead. Can you hear that? This is like ASMR. I know, it's like a very nice mix of textures. It's very casual since this is tucked out and then the tie, if it's if it can't be loosened more. Yeah, that's right. I'm wearing a fake tie because I don't know how to tie a real one. It would look more casual, but like, you know, just big, big shapes. A small shape. The usual. Now, this is actually what I wore on my first day back to school and I got a lot of compliments for it, actually. DMs from even, like, classmates of mine. So yeah, this is uh, an effect of layering. Haha, <laughs> a word that I know how to use. Did I use that right? I don't know. But honestly, I am in a tie phase right now. If you have anything with a collar on, throw a tie on it, loosen it, boom, fashion. So yeah, I'd say that this is very school appropriate. Yes. <laughs> Um, fashionista. So that's the end of the video. Hope you enjoyed. Now, another disclaimer. I have lived 13 years. I have lived 13 years in school uniforms. And when I was like a younger teenager, I barely dressed up to go outside. You can see it from like my previous video where I talked about this more. So I only really started to get into fashion and styling uh, this year. Around July when I started going to college. So if you mask clown on me, do so as you wish. I probably should need it. Please give me any tips or advice if you have some. If you wear these outfits and you get shoved into a locker, don't say I didn't warn you. That's all. Hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Love you. And instead of kissing you goodbye, I'm going to punch you in the face.